Lauren Padgett, Assistant Curator of Bradford Museums and Galleries here. For those of you who have visited Bolling Hall Museum before, did you explore the grounds? The lovely blossom trees at the front, the neat gardens, the car park round the back, and you saw that wall, didn't you? No? Well, don't worry, it is easy to miss, but this wall is very historically important. When Bolling Hall was given to the city of Bradford in 1912 to become a museum, renovation work took place in the hall and in the grounds. Around the grounds were lots of buildings from when the hall was tenanted. Builders set about dismantling an old stable. As they started to bring it down, a plaster wall fell down and revealed a much older stone wall behind it. Work stopped and an archaeologist was called to inspect it. This wall was eventually deemed to be medieval due to the shape of the windows and markings etched in the timber, thought to be superstitious symbols known as witch marks to keep the devil away. So here's one theory about it. Bolling Hall originally consisted of wooden structures until the stone peel tower was built at the end of the 14th century, which gave the Bolling family a reception room and bedroom. Dating to the 15th century, this wall may be what remains of the first stone house body or great hall of Bolling Hall. It would have had four walls and possibly another storey above it. When the hall was owned by Rosamond and Robert Tempest in the 16th century, the Peel Tower had a house body or great hall built directly to the side of it, and kitchens were built at the back of the Peel Tower, resulting in the medieval and early modern side of Bolling Hall as we know it today. The now redundant stone hall separate to the rest of what is now Bolling Hall would have then been repurposed and eventually hidden by new building material over time and become used as a stable. So next time you are walking in the area, make sure you explore Bolling Hall's grounds and don't forget to check out the wall at the back.